Well, the PNM-led central government has shouldered much criticism for its attempts in diversifying the national economy. However, during her contribution to the budget debate, Minister of Trade and Industry Paula Gopiskun defended the government's efforts. She said the manufacturing industry is driving diversification. Here's more in this report. The minister's budget presentation, titled Building Capacity for Diversification and Growth, conspicuously lacked any discussion in the Minister of Finance delivery on Friday about key areas of diversification, a glaring omission given our depleting hydrocarbon resources. Opposition MPs, including Ross and Parry, relentlessly criticized the central government for what they perceive as inadequate efforts in diversifying the economy. However, Minister of Trade and Industry Paula Gopiskun rejected these allocations. And I don't know how they, can, they have the nerve to speak about diversification because diversification, they don't understand what it is. That is about increased revenue, that's about increased exports, that's about increased export, and we see that in the non-energy sector. We have demonstrated that this is a diversified sector that is continuing to perform. She reported that the manufacturing sector witnessed a 54% increase in economic activity. Non-oil revenue is expected to expand by a considerable $5.3 billion in 2024 to $35.5 billion, which will represent 66% of total revenue. And that is diversification. The trade minister highlighted iron and steel, food and beverage, and textiles as the most successful sectors within manufacturing. She also dismissed claims that foreign exchange was exclusively allocated to large companies, noting that 158 small and medium sized companies received over 839 million US dollars from the XM Bank. Meanwhile, opposition MP Parry criticized the government for neglecting other diversification avenues. The tourism sector in particular, it remains stymied by international travel warnings due to crime. Our agricultural sector that could significantly reduce our $7.3 billion food import bill. And Madam Speaker, if you juxtapose that to the $5.1 billion projected budget deficit, the government has been equally inert, reversing previous gains. He urged the government to adopt a more comprehensive approach in their plans to enhance food security in Trinidad and Tobago. I thus challenge the government to set clear, measurable targets for domestic food production and import reduction. We cannot afford to continue with the lack of specificity and accountability. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.